Most of us have known or do know petty people, and on various occasions we've been the actual people who's made it their mission to be as the subject in question. Aside from ourselves, friends we'll see and family we'll see exhibiting this behavior. Co-workers, colleagues, bitter rivals, husbands, wives, in-laws, social media justice warriors, unreasonable neighbors, doing things out of spite, nothing ever too shallow, nothing beneath them. These walks of life include sore losers, haters, complainers, whiners, naysayers, destiny blockers, backbiters, false witnesses, liars, the bitter, the disgruntled, the jealous, the envious, the overcritical. They all share a common thread. They're all miserable. It's cliche to say that they don't want to see you succeed or rise in life, even more so to be happy. If you're the exception, someone who's never met such people, if you're the person who's never been childish or immature over anything, or sunk to lows that embarrass most people, you either deserve a trophy or a lie detector test. There is a way to be forgiving and to show patience, a way to be diplomatic and gracious, a way to be cordial, to be courteous, and that's through Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen? Heavenly Father, any person or persons I've dealt with that has shown pettiness, or if I've shown pettiness, I ask you to purge and cleanse my heart and theirs so that we may be more tolerant and kind towards one another, leaving no room for spite or discord. In Jesus' name, amen.